These are the actual entries entered into the White River Light Station's daily log. September 22nd, 1873. The schooner Sea Star ran aground last week. Parts of the wreck started to refloat. I saw some of the pieces while I was walking down the pier earlier today. October 2nd, 1875. With the help of five hired men, work has commenced on building the main lighthouse along the bluff down the way from the pier. October 17th, 1875. The carrier of supplies hit rough seas on the lake. We will be delayed about a week or so on our construction plans. In this supply ship, we expect to receive lantern room wall fittings, glass copper roof, and special parts to complete the construction of the lighthouse. May 13th, 1876. After successful installation of our lens on the top of the lighthouse tower, it was lit for the first time. What a success. Boats and ships will now be able to see the channel even clearer now that we are in operation. November 19th, 1879. Not one, but two schooners hit the elevated walkway today. Significant damage. I will have to start the repairs quite soon so I can continue my work on the pier light. April 22nd, 1880. Local boat ran into elevated walkway on the pier. It broke off about 48 feet of the walkway. June 2nd, 1880. I've realized that without a fence around the grounds, the local cattle from the adjacent farm make their way over to our yard to snack on and trample on our grass. I have written a letter to Commander McCain about installing a fence around the yard to prevent such activities from happening. I will be sending it out tomorrow. June 7, 1880. The gasoline caught fire on the wash boiler and we learned a great lesson to use it with very great care. These are the actual entries entered into the White River Light Station's daily log. June 3rd, 1880. Another boat has hit the end of the pier today. Something needs to be done before even more damage is done. July 14th, 1883. Poor drainage downstairs along with heavy rains have caused the ceiling to flood terribly, among other damage. It has been two weeks since the horrible rains hit Whitehall, and I'm still working on emptying water from the cellar. May 23rd, 1888. A telephone was installed at the lighthouse today. Not many residents or places of business have them installed. We are one of the only places with this machine in the local area. June 17th, 1890. The clockwork cable has malfunctioned. It seems like it is caught at the top of the light. That, or it has completely snapped. I must inspect to see what the matter is. Hopefully it isn't anything too serious. I have too many other projects in mind that have to be completed. August 25th, 1890. The hardest storm that I have ever experienced happened today while I was at the tower. Vessels were warned, and so little damage to shipping happened. We didn't get much in terms of damage at the light station either, thankfully. September 10th, 1890. The body of a local man was found on shore today. Must have been from a recent shipwreck last week. We, we had some bad storms recently. April 2nd, 1892. Inspector came by to check out the lighthouse. The family and I got the lighthouse cleaned up and ready for inspection before he made his arrival. Everything ended up going very well. May 3rd, 1902. Materials were delivered today so work could start on the pier. We are planning to extend it further out, so we must move the light to a temporary location. The new elevated walkway is made of metal. July 25th, 1902. A new oil house was constructed on the grounds this week. 
With this new addition, we can begin to move all our oil equipment and supplies from the basement of the house to this new space located just outside the side door. May 2nd, 1904. I received a letter of commendation from the Lighthouse Board today for having a station in credible condition. Part of the letter writes, The Board is gratified to learn from the annual report of inspection of your station, made on 16th of April, that it is most credible condition. The Board commends you on this. The fact that you have been commended will be noted on the records of their office and on those of the inspector's office as part of your official history. I am very thankful for this recognition. May 17th, 1904. The inspector came by today and congratulated me on the great work that I am doing here at the light station. I thanked him for his words and with a big smile on my face said, just doing my job, sir. He got a kick out of that. <laughs> His comment makes me sit back and really think about my time here at the light station. I am honored to be the man to take care of this precious light. Not only is this work supporting my family, but I am saving lives by keeping this light in tip-top shape every single day. May 25th, 1904. A terrible storm came by last night. I went to go check out any damage in the walkway today after the storm had passed. Severe damage has occurred, and it looks like a portion of the walkway needs to be replaced and repaired. June 25th, 1904. A fishing boat from Muskegon was driven ashore about a mile south of the lighthouse. The men were saved, but that boat was badly damaged. These are the actual entries entered into the White River Light Station's daily log. The light characteristic has officially changed today. Before today, the light used to be a fixed white light. Now, it is a fixed white light with a red flash every 40 seconds. Because we must work directly with the light, it was discontinued for 10 days. March 1st, 1914. We've been subjected to a harsh winter this season. So much so that the water pipes coming into the house have completely frozen up. It has now been a couple of weeks since the original freeze and we still have frozen pipes. February 17th, 1920. Even though I am grateful we have had the opportunity to use electricity at our light station, it has not been 100% consistent and reliable since installation. I have often needed to burn the kerosene lamp due to power outages, something I was not expecting to do once electricity was installed. April 13, 1925. Because of the constant damage to the walkway during high waves, winds, and storms, it has been decided that it should be torn down. The disassembled pieces will be sent to the Lighthouse Service Depot in Milwaukee over the next few weeks. August 7th, 1925. A fire broke out last night in the adjacent woods. The lightning in last night's storm seemed to have hit the trees just right, where it ignited a large forest fire. Even after a full 48 hours after the initial burn, the fire continues to rage on. Fire has spread to both sides of the lake at this point. Fire crews from Whitehall and neighboring towns have been helping to contain and fight the fire before any other damage is done. September 7th, 1925. I assisted the Coast Guard in rescuing a woman on the water today. We tried to bring life to her, but, but unfortunately, we failed. October 1st, 1927. The damaged hull of an unknown vessel drifted into the White River Channel this morning. From what I saw and learned from the Coast Guard, no men were aboard. April 22nd, 1928. The unbelievable happened today. A fire broke out in the old wooden pier early this morning. I've never seen a fire quite like it in my whole life. The local fire department from town was called out 
in order to help control and tame the fire. It burned all night and was not fully extinguished until mid-morning the next day. September 17, 1929. While we have been using stone to help with the stability of the pier in the water, I have realized that it cannot always be safe from harm. A heavy sea cut behind the current stone and washed out part of the pier into the lake. Huh, it seems like we can never catch a break these days. April 17, 1930. The constant repairs and attention to the pier have caused us to make the decision to rebuild the north and south piers. We also plan on facing them with concrete. We hope this proves to be a good decision in the long run. August 22, 1935. Currently at home, waiting for visitors to come. I will be showing them the tower and telling them about my job here at the light station. I'm excited to tell the children of the group what my day-to-day -day job is like. They're thrilled to hear about what we, the lighthouse keepers, do every day.